Hi, Dr. Park. My name is Maria, and my husband and I have a 20-month-old at home. And we want to know, is there something that we can do to prepare him for having a baby? So it's a really good question. How do you handle the older sibling? You know, especially if they're a toddler. You know, a, a seven, eight-year-old, they, they want to be a little mommy or a little daddy. They kind of get it. But the little ones really feel competitive. I mean, sure, you know, I'm sure he's putting his hand on his belly, on your belly and saying, you know, baby, baby, and understands the concept. But the reality of it can be quite a shock for a little kid. So there are a bunch of things that you want to do to prepare him. One is practice with a baby doll now. Practice breastfeeding, practice putting a diaper on the dolly, let it be his dolly, let him kind of try it out. Um, the second thing is when you go to the hospital, you don't necessarily have to bring him to the hospital. Um, but if you do bring him, understand he's not going to be that interested in the baby. So have somebody be there to take care of him and maybe have a special toy that the baby is giving to him, you know, so he feels, all right, there's something in it for me too. <laughs> and then have a bunch of those things at home as well. So when you have visitors to the house who may not have thought to bring something for your older child, they bring something for the toddler. Because really the baby doesn't need anything. But the older child's going to see the baby getting all the presents, and that's not very fun. One last thing is a technique. I love this technique. It's called gossiping, which is a happiest toddler technique. And so what you do is you whisper, and let your child overhear you, but whisper praise, things that you like that, the ch that your child is doing. So like, oh, uh, Luca picked up his toys all by himself. And Luca's listening in and feeling good about himself. You know, yes, I did. You know, or even give him a little check on the hand. And then, you know, it's like a little tattoo or a star, and he can, during the day, oh, look, Luca, you have a check on your hand. What was that? Oh, that was when you picked up all your toys. So that way you reinforce the whole, you know, pride that you have in him. And then they start feeling more grown up and less competitive with the little baby.